Hi to all, welcome to RAM Standard Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will understand how to pass the data from one activity to another activity using intent class. So here, I have created the project, new project called passing data using intent. So we are going to have default activity called main activity and for that we have a activity underscore main.xml. So since we are discussing the concept passing data from one activity to any other activity, that means passing data between activities. So in the real time whenever you are developing application, so common requirement is from one activity we need to send the data to another activity that may be data type or that may be object. So which kind of data we can pass from one activity to other activity in a sense we can understand in the program whenever we are writing. So that first of all let me create a new activity. So under dot java this is the application package name. So under this I am creating new activity. So right click on the package, select new and select uh, right activity blank activity now I'm giving the name is another activity so the XML file name it is creating is activity underscore another and uh, again in the under menu folder default it's going to create a file called main underscore another so just I'm going to finish this so another activity has been created so what I'm doing is in the main activity we are going to take some name from the user that one we will send to the other activity so that first we need to design the user interface so I'm going to activate underscore main and uh, let me design the user interface first of all I'm taking one edit text under text fields I'm taking person name now I'm giving the ID of this is double click this and uh, id is edit text underscore name now we did not require the text property instead of text i am taking this property as a hint now and uh, hint i am taking as enter name so you can see the preview here enter name so we are taking one button again whenever we click the button the name we are sending to another activity I'm taking the button and the button name I'm giving as send to another activity and id button underscore send now so here whenever we click the button we are going to get the name from this say text and we are sending to another activity now we will come to the another activity xml file so here default text view i am deleting and i am taking one text view so that whenever the name is coming from the main activity so here we are displaying that name with the help of text view so i am taking the id text view underscore display and I'm dealing the property text property why because dynamically we are binding save it now we'll go to the Java code so first of all we need to write an action for this button and in that we need to get the data from the edit text and we need to write the program to send the data to another activity so that first uh, we are not using these methods just read these methods and final we call the edit text edit text edit text equal to edit text and call the reference but uh, edit text reference with the help of find you by adding or dot id dot edit text underscore name next we need to write an action for the button button send button equal to we need to do type casting button and find you by id or dot id dot button underscore send and we should call the set on click listener interface send button dot set on click listener of new on click listener so we have an on click method whenever we click this button this on click method is going to execute then we need to get the data from this a text and we need to set to the uh, another activity so that we are calling button send button equal to sorry 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 
we need to get the data from ATEX so that just we need to call string name equal to ATEX object is ATEX dot get text dot to string so we got the data in the ATEX next you need to create an Indian class object so obviously to call another activity we need to create an Indian object just create that one new intent the intent should have the uh, parameters to one is context another one is a class so that first parameter we are giving get application context and uh, second parameter we are saying which activity you want to launch in the sense you want to launch another activity dot class now simple now we need to store the data in the intent now right so in the intent class they are providing the methods simple method of overriding concept is there method of overloading concept is there so that is the put extra methods you will see in the put extras methods we are storing that means in the intent we are storing the data in the form of name and value pair so that we are using the put extra method so in the put extra method first parameter always is a name and second parameter is the value so that we are calling this is a processor called name and value pairs now so whenever we are storing the data we are going to store the data um, in the name and value pairs whenever you are retrieving just we are going to call the name and corresponding value it will give you so that you will see in this put extra methods you will see the second parameters int integer array long long array so that kind of data only parsable serialization that type of values only can store in the intent now so i'm selecting one method and within double quotes i'm giving the name is my name and second parameter we are passing the name so we have stored the string value next as usual we need to call the method start activity of you need to pass intent object so that is the program you need to write in this activity to send the data to another activity so whenever you want to store any long value double value integer value just you are going to have some more put methods and you are going to store the data now we will come to the another activity and these methods are not required so here first of all we need to call the text view text view text view equal to sorry text view and find you by id r dot id dot text view underscore display next uh, here we have a method called get intent method this super class action bar activity or activity class is going to give you the get activity method so get intent method get intent method is going to return the intent reference that means it's it will return the intent which intent in the sense which intent that started this another activity so clearly main activity only starting this another activity so this intent you can access in the another activity so that get intent method will return the intent which started this activity so that here we are taking the intent intent equal to how we store the data here using put extra method that too we store the string type of value so whenever you are retrieving based on the value which value is stored and uh, based on that only we are going to call the method in the another activity to get the data from the intent now so here we store the string value so here you need to call the get string extra method and if you store the integer value there we are going to call get int extra if you store the double value get double extra since we have stored the string value so that we are calling here intent dot get string extra sorry get string extra and the key we have passed that that name we have passed here is my name just i'm using that one make sure you're not going to have any uh, mistakes in this here so i have given suppose uh, sorry that's why you'll see my name now here copy this and use it here so that we are not having any uh, errors here now so that here it will return a string value so that we are taking string name equal to simple we have a name that is coming from the main, main activity that one you can set to the text view using simple set text method of name save it right now we'll execute the application and we'll check that output if you like my videos you can subscribe my channel by clicking subscribe button below and you can find a lot of code in my blog called ram standard for all dot blogspot in below i'm giving the link for my blog and you can visit my blog and you can get a lot of code in my blog now i'm entering the name suppose android if you click the button send to another activity you'll see 
clearly it is sending the data to another activity. Whatever the name you type here, that is only it is going to send now. Send to another activity, you will see RAM standard. Thank you for watching and we will meet in the next video tutorial.